Well, I'm inside the cinema, Hardy, but it's just full of the infected. I'll need to clear them out. Copy that. Let us know when we can come in. Hey, Kyle. Alright, I can give you an energy drink. Would that help your transformation along? Thank you. Oh. Whoop. Go on, vomit. Boom! See how fabulous that is? Whoop. Just die already! <laughs> Ka -ding. I don't want to just cheese this by using my rage, you know? So I'll cheese it by grabbing all the weapons back. How's it going, folks? It's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to Dead Island Riptide. I am chilling up here by these bricks just to avoid this one mostly. Oh, five damage? Only a measly five damage? That didn't even do anything. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back, ladies and gents. I hope you all are doing fantastic. I have my headphones switched yet again. Let me fix that really quickly. All right, cool. So now the game audio is all set and fixed and everything is cool. I have something to show you guys. Um, first off, I kind of explored the, the map. <laughs> I kind of explored Henderson a little bit in the last episode, if you can't tell. Um, that's mostly sarcasm. I explored it quite a lot. I'm looking for another fast travel point. However, I actually stumbled across some things, and I want to relay those to you all. But let me avoid getting attacked here really quickly. So let's head back over here. Let's run over this way. And I found this little... It was glowing. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Let me, let me take care of these enemies. So I was stumbling across this. And I was like, oh yeah, just a, just a bag, right? Because I was running past these enemies trying to get back to a fast travel point. And I found this message in a bottle. I don't know what it does, but if it's like a time trial, I'm probably not going to do it. Other than that, Looks what is like it? A note. There's a man trapped on the roof behind the church. Message in a bottle, quest added. Rescue what, Alex? We just got rescue Carlos. Not too sure who Carlos is. Um... See a newcomer? Okay, that's that. Um, so, let's check the area map. We have a few side quests. Uh, we have talked to Alex. He's down that way. We have uh, Frankie O'Hara's apartment. We, are, we have a lot of dead zones over here, by the way. I'm trying to not go to those. Just in case it's like a story thing and I end up getting something away ahead of time. Because I do want to play the actual story. We got a makeshift hospital. Okay, I know that's, um, that's not like one of these things. That's where... Eva, Ava in the last episode went to. Um, we also have Nick's house. Not too sure. Not too sure who Nick is. I can't recall him off the top of my head. But we got that person there. We also have uh, Carlo. Okay, so this is Carlos over here. So if I head over this way, she's using the charge ability. If you're kind of curious as to what I'm doing to make me sprint so fast, it's the uh, where is it? Charge, uh, perform powerful wide attacks while sprinting. Uh, you get the unlock, the charge ability unlocking the first level, and I have all three perks of it, or all three levels in that skill. Um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of sprinting, and I'm on controller, so I press Y while sprinting. Ooh. I was kind of hoping to kick that head like a football. <clears throat> Alright, so let's head over this way. Let's talk to Carlos. Like I said earlier, probably going to ignore most of the dead zones until it's deemed necessary. Okay, so this has a lot of money in it. Also has a keepsake photo. Quest item, found keepsake photo. Let's check our inventory. I know we already have a keepsake photo, but is this going to be the same thing? Photo of Henderson citizens for Jacqueline. Okay, we have, we have, we have two for Jacqueline. And yeah, so three for Jacqueline. Alrighty then. Okay, a bottle containing a message from Ryan who is in distress. So that's neither Carlos nor Alex. So let's uh, repair our weapons real quick. Alright, what's up, Carlos? Are they all dead? You sure? Yep. Relax. Thank you. I thought I was never gonna get out of here. Here, take this. You probably need this more than I do. Again, thank you. Yeah, not a problem. What did you... Oh, you gave me money. 
Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so that's, uh, <laughs> that's helping him out. All right, so that was that quest. I know we also have the cinema one, but I'm going to try and take care of all these quests. I know there's like a Damien or something. Damien, Damien. There's a name that starts with the letter D, and he's a person that is trying to survive from all the zombies. I remember seeing something pop up in the last episode while editing it, and I don't recall exactly what it was. Anything will help. But I just know that it's a survivor trying to, well, survive. So they'll need our help for that. I'm not trying to face that ram either, so I'm going to run away. Oh, it's you. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Whoop. There you go. On. Whoop. Ha. You aren't so tough when you're, uh, by yourself now, are you? Alright, so, not really seeing anything. Is the marker telling us to go this way? Suppose I'll go this way. Oh, what's that? Uh, is that... Yeah, that's Damien. Okay, Damien's over this way. He's over here. He's got some zombies around him. Or, he did. Alright, how do you get up there? Did you use the boxes? You probably use the boxes. Hey there. Come on up. I've got something for you. Shoots Shit. us. I thought that was it. Hey, I can now trade without uh, plans and parts. Ooh, nice. Okay, we get the shredder mod. Intriguing. We can get the pride gun mod, the detox shotgun mod, the shark mod, and the inferno mod. Area of effect attack. I'm probably going to buy all of these. Alex seems like a really cool person to shop with uh yeah you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do it shredder mod there we go you folks can read these if you want to pause and i might actually have some of these mods i don't know Take a look. cool well alex is now helping us out with that Okay, you know what he's probably... So, if I was gonna go there, gotta go this way somehow. Okay, so I have to go through here, avoid the infested basements, and then go left here. How about that? Does that sound like a plan? It certainly sounds like a plan. I meant to pick up that bleach, but you know what? It's too far away, and I'm not going to go back and pick it up. I don't need it. And then... Shabam. <laughs> Damn, they just hit you with the butt of my katana. Not the actual blade part. That'd be crazy. Alright. Whoop! <laughs> Again, super clean. Oh, you need to ask me something? Sure thing. What's up? Whoop! Help you with this your work. Okay. My name is Damien. It's nice to meet you. You as well. You're really tall. Having such a pleasant conversation. I mean, Listen, sure. I need some batteries. With the power out, batteries are the only way to keep things running. Understand? Will you get some for me? Is this a repeatable quest? Ooh, reward electrotherapy. Memories help Damien finish his project. Three skull difficulty, three star reward. Yes. Rex P. Splendid. I knew you'd be up for a challenge. For a challenge? Do I not have a battery? Oh, does it need to be a specific battery? Hmm. Okay. Alright, you got a med kit. Nah, med kit. Alright, you got some bleach. Hey, look at that. Ooh, we got a blade and the death stalker mod. Okay. Yep, I know what this is going on now. Alright, let's repair the cruel katana. And let's put the death stalker mod on there if I can can okay let's put it on the cruel katana because i know death stalker is a really fabulous modification there we go it was in the first game i'm so happy i found that so so happy Whoop. so if the slicing capabilities don't do it the vomit sure will or i guess the poison or the vomit inducing poison will i need to find a battery 
Whoop. Whoop. Bing. Kick. Oh, man. All right, you got a frightening morning star in here, possibly. Oh. There's a battery. Is it a singular battery? I mean, I suppose. Hmm. Do you need me to get you more batteries? Going up those boxes can be a little finicky sometimes. Are those for me? Why did you bring me batteries? I guess it's not important. I'll remember sooner or later. Huh? Listen, I need you to bring me two more items. I need some spark gap tubes. I'm sure you can find them somewhere in town. Chief, I don't know what a spark gap tube is. I have a feeling you have a memory issue. But that is none of my business. Let's look for a spark gap tube. Oop. Hey, Kyle. Quest updated. Talk to Kyle. Alright, I can give you an energy drink. Would that help your transformation along? Take this. No, 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 no. Go on. You can have it. Okay. 51,000 XP? Hell yeah, I will take that. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Alright, so it's somewhere down there. Looks to be. How do I go about getting there? Is the question. This way, maybe? Ah. Uh, Metzger Sloat? Hideout? I'm not sure who that is, but okay. Old Town Cinema? Nope, I'm going the wrong way. That is the wrong way. I'm not trying to do that cinema thing just yet. Maybe I have to head down here. A little bit farther. It says it's... Maybe it's in the hideout. I'm gonna go to the farthest one away first, just to see. What's this? Oh wait, hold on, that's the message in the bottle. It's Ryan. He said he's stuck on a roof behind the cinema. And we are indeed behind the cinema. All right. All right, let's hop up here. Where you at, Ryan? Got some energy drinks. This one doesn't even have a lock. Flimsy Kanabo. I'm fine. Help me! Hey. Are you all right? No, I'm. I'm not well. I've been here for. I don't remember how many days. Name's Ryan. I live in this building. I locked myself up here when my neighbor tried to attack me, and then this flood. I... I couldn't make my way back down. I suffer from MS. And without my meds, my symptoms, they get much worse. I can't move. Do you have a supply of these medications somewhere? Can I get them for you? Yes. They're in my apartment, in this building. If you could bring them to me, I'd be so very grateful. On the edge, help Ryan and bring him his medication. Difficulty three skulls, XP three stars, cash five stars. Of course. I barricaded the door, so you'll need to unblock it to get in. The pills are in the bathroom. Oh, thank you. Getting to Ryan's house. Improving. Nice. Let's level up, see what we can't grab. Alright. Um, critical skills gain any more rage. Rage gain plus 81%. I mean, that's not bad. But I am also trying to max out this poison duration, you know? So I'm gonna get that first. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's head inside Ryan's house. We shall certainly do this quest, and then we'll work on helping out other folks, such as Damien, who has a memory problem, it appears. All right, um, 
Nothing in the fridge. Alternative entrance into the cinema. Huh? What? Oh, under the stairs. Okay. I see. There we go. Again, I'm trying to not use my flashlight because I know it kind of ruins the atmosphere. But I am going to use it every now and then. Whoa! Man, that would have been bad. Had you not pushed me out of the way. <laughs> Got a blade, another energy drink. Oh. Only thing I don't like about the poison effect is that if we stand over it, there is a high chance that uh, our camera goes all funky. See, like so. Alright. Got a rag. Don't think there's much else in here. There's this. Savage Mall. And we got that formidable, formidable construction hammer, remember? Ryan's got a pretty sick looking uh, building. Oh, we got a thug over here. Alright. Lemon juice. Whoop. Go on, vomit. Boom! See how fabulous that is? Whoop. All right, anything? No, just looks like it'll be here. No. Oh. Alcohol. I wouldn't be too surprised if there was a like a, a exploder in here. I keep forgetting where it's called. I think it's a suicider. Oh, there's the painkiller. We got the painkillers. Anything else we're missing? Medicine. Yes. Deodorant, bleach. What song is this? No, no more. I'm fine. You got an inhaler as well, and some extra money. Okay. Cool. Now that we've secured this whole area, should be fine to just rush back upstairs. Yeah, Ryan. Oh. Man. I'm so sorry. Dang. Well, that is a shame. So that quest is over and done with. Makeshift hospital. Still looking for the spark gaps. And that second one is down this way. So we still have to go over there. There we go, but now it's you that I'm dealing with. Except, hold on. Can't I just... Hey! Oh, shoot! Um, never had to genuinely face you. <laughs> hey, Owen, you mind offer me a little protection here? I don't know about buy something so much as, uh, get shelter. I don't want to just cheese this by using my rage, you know? So I'll cheese it by grabbing all the weapons back. Huh. 
Huh. Well, would you look at that? Alright, did I get the uh, tube that I wanted? Uh, it doesn't appear to be so. I don't know where this could be. It's not in Owen's place, is it? That doesn't really make much sense for it to be. But let's check up here. Maybe it's here. A calibrated auto rifle. Hey. Um. Do I have anything I want to get rid of? Drop that heavy wrench. Pick that up. And then put that calibrated auto rifle. Um. Let's unequip that and put that. Oh, it requires level 57. Okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, look for spark gaps. Yep, that doesn't exactly help me all too much. Um, Maybe there's something useful. Dangerous exotic double blade. See, but... Where do I... <laughs> where do I go to find this thing? It's not on the rooftop, is it? Oh. Found it. Right there. Alright then. You know, at least use a golf club. I feel like that'd be funny. What level am I? 56? Okay. Hmm. Let's sell the other rifle because we'll just be able to use this auto rifle in a little while. Yeah. Okay. Electric scrap, shovel. No, I'm not going to try and beat the game with this shovel. Where in the world am I supposed to find this spark gap? No. Alright, so how am I supposed to get over there? Okay, so I need to find a way to get down there. Oh, just like so. I couldn't do that before. What is this? Oh, <laughs> hey! Found it. I guess I have everything. Do I want to go to Metzger Sloat's hideout? Like, way before we probably should? Eh, I'll try it. I'll see how it goes. <laughs> if I absolutely get demolished, then I know not to do this. But that's only if. You know? If the game gives me access to it, might as well try it. Oh, wow, I didn't think you'd... Huh. Whoop. Bastard. Oh, that sounds lovely. What a great welcoming party. That sounds horrendous. See what kind of enemies they have. Oh, okay. Well, I died from a single hit, but I killed Skull Crusher. <laughs> New quest. Defeat that boss. I defeated him, but so they did to me. I'm curious, can I 
use the drop attack on the enemy over here. I don't think so. Is this, uh... Is this considered unfair? I'm having more issues kicking this enemy down the stairs than I was actually killing it. Now, if that's not... Got an aluminum tube, highly conductive wire, and circuit boards as well. Bing! A slash mod. Ooh, let's try and use the. Uh... Oh, I don't have it. All right, where's the? I still have the golf club. Yeah, I'll try and use the golf club. AC power box. And a crippling Scottish dirk. Um, drop the wicked sickle, get the Scottish Dirk, let's use the golf club, donk, oh, I forgot it was you, I forgot it was that kind of enemy, yeah, okay, that's honestly fair, really should have expected that. I know I said I was going to use the golf club, but at the same time, like, can't even get a second to fix myself and get my bearings or anything. Sanderac like glue. A crap ton of stuff. All these computer parts, which I don't know how well a waterlogged battery is going to be, but hey, if it helps you, it helps you. That was, uh, Sloan, Sloat, Goat, uh, big, big bad guy. Yeah, that was his area. He's done now. Now that we have both spark gaps, we can just head back to Damien, and he'll be like, the hell did you get this for? I need you to give me one, two, about seven more things. And then after that, I'd be like, oh yeah, I don't need these anymore. Hey there. Hello, what is this? A spark gap too? <laughs> did I ask for this? Sorry, my memory isn't what it once was. I must have. I wonder what I had planned. Oh, that's not important. Listen, since you're here, I could use a coil. A good electric coil. I'm sure the soldiers over in the base have more than they can use. Wait until you gain access to the military base area. Okay. Well, <laughs> I suppose that's it for Damien now. Or for now. Come on, I want the med kit. There we go. Now I can use this. Let's at least check the map real quick to see if I have any other people who need help besides that. And I think we should be fine. Yeah, okay. So for the quest, let's go to City Newcomer again. Let's go over here. 
So I know we have to access here. <laughs> Not even a second's hesitation. That's so fun to watch. All right, so anything over here besides those stairs, which honestly doesn't seem to be super crazy good security, but you know, I guess I can't jump over it. So that means it's the best security. All right, let's head onto the roof, I suppose. Or are we just going inside? I can't really tell. I mean, we're climbing to the roof, but I feel like we need to get inside. Must be the way in. Well, I'm inside the cinema, Hardy, but it's just full of the infected. I'll need to clear them out. Hardy? Oh, Sam Hardy. Okay. So I take it Jolene's not alive anymore? Or Jacqueline? What was her name? By the way, I'm not using a bladed weapon, just because I want to increase my proficiency in these kinds of weapons. Because if I check my skills, you'll see down at the bottom, my uh, blade, my blunt weapons is like level 2, my blade weapons is level 10, so I want to increase that. However, if I'm in a bad situation like so, I will certainly do this instead. That's enough to kill me. Yep, okay. See, that's more my speed. <laughs> Got some water. Diamonds. Ooh. Don't know why a theater has any sort of diamonds. Got a snack. Some water. Alright. Whoop. I get some damage. Nice. Ooh, a mace? Hold up. Hold up. That is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty okay. I mean, not like a super crazy cool mace or anything. Where'd you come from? You didn't get in, did you? There we go. Break your legs. The lobby's clear, so I'm going to check out the auditorium. Do a short shot. Then. few more stragglers. Oh, that's probably where Jacqueline and Jolene or something is. <laughs> Ooh, diamonds. Oh, this must be a rich person theater if they bring diamonds to a theater. Oh. Great. Who brings diamonds to sit into a theater and watch a movie? On the other hand, this also means that if I die over and over, those diamonds probably respawn. I'm doing like no damage. This weapon's broken. Well, I wanted to kill him with a golf club.
Oh, 15G, the cinema. Clear out the cinema. You got it. I, I don't know what happened to my weapons. But I'm going to assume that... Oh! All the way over here. Okay, they got shot down the hallway. <laughs> Alright, well... Ladies and gentlemen, that will have to do it for today's episode. I know it's probably a little bit of a longer one. How do you find engine parts in a trash can, huh? Please explain that to me. Anyways, ladies and gents, hope you all have a fabulous day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace!